once you are finished with the Pro Tools project, you need to make sure when you turn it in that you turn it in with all of its parts. The best way to do this is through a process called Save Copy In. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to File. I'm going to go to Save Copy In. So this particular file is a video project, so I need to make sure that I not only save the session, but I save the audio files and the video movie files as well. So I'll check audio files and I check movie video files. I'll click OK. I need to make sure that this is named something useful. So I'm going to call it my last name, underscore final project, underscore the date. Something like that is normally what you would need to do. And then you know you did it right if it takes a second because it has to copy all of the files, including the movie file. Then you go to the place where you saved it. This folder is right here. Within this folder, there's a bunch of parts. There is the PTX session, there is the video files, and then there's the audio files. I need all of these. If you don't turn in all of these, you have essentially turned in nothing to me. I need you to zip this folder. It's a different process on a PC, but what you do on a Mac at least, is you right click the folder that contains all of these parts, go to compress, and then it takes a little while to do it. And then once it's finished, you have this file which has all of these files in it, and then you upload that to Canvas. In the Finder on a PC, you go over to the Share tab. That reveals the option to zip the folder that you've selected, and then it zips it, and you can upload it to Canvas.